Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. So we are again talking about optic mounting options for your AK rifle and I've already done one video. You can check it out right here if you've missed it or there'll be a card at the end of the video so you don't have to come back and look for this little thing popping up or whatever the case may be. Uh, you can just wait till the end of the video and it'll pop up there. But anyway, this time we're going to be talking about the drop-in gas tubes that you can buy that has a rail on top or the railed gas tubes. If you guys are interested in the side mounting options or these railed gas tubes or even the rifles that I've been talking about on the Clash files, you can check that out in the description below. I've got a direct link that will show you all the different products that I've been talking about to date. All right, so let's jump into it. This time, like I said, we are going to be talking about the gas tube rails that you can buy or the railed gas tubes that are just kind of a drop in. This one is going to be the Ultimac, and the other one that we're going to talk about is from Midwest Industries as well. And I'll get close-up pictures for you guys so you can see exactly what I've been talking about. But these have some major pros, and there's some cons with them as well. Not only do they have pros and cons between the two, but the whole concept of a railed gas tube has some pros and cons we'll talk about through this video. All right, so let's talk about uh, the Ultimac first. One of the great things that I really like, and I think this is probably the biggest pro that the Ultimac has, is the fact that the Picatinny section runs the entire gas tube. And I think that's extremely beneficial in making sure that you set up exactly uh, what you want on this forward railed system. So if you want to do say like um, you know a side mounted PEC 15 or IR laser you can do that. There's plenty of room to do that or if you just want to run a scout light you can do that as well. So plenty of room especially with this primary arms advanced red dot um, that you're going to have plenty of room to do whatever you need. The biggest thing that I would say is probably a con when it comes to this particular uh, railed gas tube is the installation. There may be some fitting depending on what type of furniture you have, what kind of hand guard you have on the lower side because you have two clamps and you can see the uh, bolts right here. There's two clamps that go around the barrel to lock this into place. So that's one of the major issues that I see. Not to say that installation is hard. Uh, you know, I'm nothing special when it comes to turning wrenches, but I was able to do this. It took me about 30 minutes to get it installed correctly. I got it installed, realized I did it wrong, I had to undo it and then redo it because uh, I didn't read the directions fully. So that's kind of on me. Um, your experience may vary, but biggest thing with this is the installation may be a little challenging. So if you're intimidated by it, by all means, make sure that you get hooked up with a gunsmith or an FFL who knows how to install them and they'll get you squared away. One of the biggest pros besides the length of the Picatinny section as well is the ability to co-witness your iron sights. And I think that's one of the major pros when it comes to a railed gas tube altogether. But with the Ultimac, you're going to be able to co-witness your iron sights should you choose to. That all depends on the type of optic that you're running, the type of mount that it's attached to, and so on and so forth. So there may be some variances there, but uh, by and large, one of the biggest things that kind of turned me on to Ultimac is my discussion with Jim Fuller back in January when I got to hang out with him for a little bit. He runs Ultimax on everything because he likes the ability to co-witness his iron sights with his red dot. So if that's something that you're looking for, then that would be a great option for you there. That's really going to cover the Ultimac. Really good, decent, uh, I would say probably one of the better railed gas tubes that are out on the market today because a lot of the uh, higher end AK manufacturers like Meridian Defense, Kreb Customs, Rifle Dynamics, they're using them. And then I know Jim Fuller on his personal builds, he's used them on his personal build as well. So definitely a really, really good option for you if that's the direction that you choose to go.
Okay, moving to the other manufacturer is, is going to be Midwest Industries, and I really like these as well. Uh, biggest downside to this, as you can see in comparison to the Ultimac, is that the Picatinny section is going to be a little bit shorter. It's not going to run the entire length of the gas tube, and that's actually okay because you still have some room up here to also mount a, you know, a side or an offset Pick a, or a, a mounting option for like a, a scout light or something like that. You still have some room to be able to do whatever you want. Biggest pro when it comes to this particular setup is going to be the installation in comparison to the Ultimac. This truly is a drop-in type of railed gas tube because the only thing that you have to worry about as far as tightening is going to be the retention nut that's up here and that pushes against your gas block. So you just drop it in, tighten it up here, and then you have some leveling Allen screws underneath the handguard to kind of help level to make sure your red dot is level. But outside of that, this is what is holding the rail into position. And that's something that I really did like. Installation on this was like maybe 10 minutes. I spent more time disassembling the rifle and reassembling the rifle than I did actually putting this on. So that's one of the major pros. Now, when it comes to the co-witnessing of the red dot, that's either going to be a pro or con depending on what you look for. For me, it's going to be a pro because this is going to end up being a lower one-third co-witness depending on the type of optic and mount that you're using, as I mentioned before. But with this primary arms advanced red dot, it's going to be a lower one-third. For me, that's a pro because I can get the red dot up and over the front sight post, and that's the way I kind of prefer it. I still have the ability to co-witness, but it will be a lower one-third. I'll just have to kind of hunker down on my sight picture a little bit to get my sights aligned. So that is going to be the biggest thing when it comes to the Midwest Industries railed gas tube. Either way, you're going to win on either brand that you choose. Ultimac is, I think, a little bit more known than Midwest Industries uh, as far as, you know, modernized when trying to modernizing your AK. I think that is kind of the, uh, the perception when it comes to the differences between these two. At the end of the day, if I had to choose one personally, it's kind of six of one and half a dozen of the other. I think the biggest question for you is, do you want a co-witness or not? Um, and how much Picatinny section do you want? Answer those two questions and that'll probably lead you in one direction or the other. Now let's talk about the biggest con when it comes to the concept of putting a, an optic on your gas tube. A couple different things. Uh, number one is, and I think the biggest con, is this is going to get extremely hot. Obviously the expent gases that are traveling through the barrel is going to get channeled into your gas tube, which is then going to be conducted, because this is metal, uh, it's going to get conducted into this rail, meaning that if you have an optic on this rail, it's going to get hot too. So if you buy an optic off of Amazon that's kind of Chinesium budget quality, it may fry your optic. I've had some friends who have had their optics fry out on uh, this type of setup, and that's, this is one of those things that you're going to have to take into consideration. When it comes to this particular red dot, the primary arms advanced red dot, I've had no issues with it whatsoever. I've ran probably um, you know, three magazines through it, kind of nonstop, and no problems, no shift in zero or anything like that. So if you're going to put a red dot on it, I would say probably the Hollow Suns primary arms or the six hour Romeo 5 would be the lowest that I would go as far as a budget optic. All the other ones, like your aim points or your EOTEX or something like that, should be just fine. You wouldn't have to worry about that. But if you're concerned about trying to set everything up on a budget, eh, that's, that's not where you're going to pay out so well, right? So that's one of the biggest cons for this. The next con is unlike the side mounting option where you can put an optic back here, um, you're going to have a hard time removing this unless you have the tools with you at all times. 
should something happen to your red dot where the lens gets busted because you banged it against something or the red dot goes out and you can't co-witness or whatever the case may be, should you have to remove this, you're not going to be able to do it as easily if you had a side mounting option. So that's another thing that you should consider as well. Not to say that most people will have that problem. Most people are probably only shooting maybe once a month, probably a couple times a year. So setting something up like this probably is not going to be that big of an issue for you guys, but it's something you still have to consider on down the road should you ever have to you know, really hit the field hunting, whatever the case may be, that's something you need to consider. So there you have it. That is kind of my take on the railed gas tubes. Um, again, I think that they make the AK look a little bit more modern. I think it looks uh, a little bit more uh, kind of level up or next level type of thing. But uh, realistically, I think it's pretty cool. And uh, I I'm kind of sold on them. I could go either way when it comes to the side mounting option or the rail version. Uh, really, at the end of the day, it kind of goes into your preference. Um, and, and really kind of what you want or how you want your rifle to look. So there you have it. That's really going to cover it this time for mounting options for a railed gas tube. Let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below. What are you guys using to mount optics onto your AKs? Really want to hear everything you guys have to say. So really do appreciate it. As always, take care. Here comes a high five. Freedom through strength. See you guys later. Bye, y'all.